We've all heard the bad news. Florida's back on top when it comes to foreclosures. We know that means if you're facing a, a, a repossession, uh, we know what that means, but what does it mean for the rest of us? Fox 29's Common Sense Attorney Sherry Olofsson here to help us answer some questions, and we do have a couple of them for you today. First of all, thank you for being here. Sure, thanks. I uh, want to know, what does this new report show us when we're talking about Florida back on top nationwide in foreclosures? Right, right. Well, across the country, foreclosures are actually down, okay. even though there were over 200 thousand foreclosure cases pending. They're down about 16% from last year. But the interesting thing is that they're down in what we call the non-judicial states. Those are the states where you don't need a judge to say okay to move forward with a foreclosure. In the judicial states, including Florida, mm -hmm foreclosures are up significantly. In fact, in New Jersey, for example, a judicial state, foreclosures are up by over 400%. Wow. Okay, and we see those stats right here, up 4% since last year, 11 months of consecutive increases. Uh, what, what does this mean for us? Are we gonna see another drop in prices? Perhaps? Well, in, in Florida in particular, mm -hmm. and again, we're a judicial state right. and foreclosures are up here. Mm -hmm. Foreclosures are up 24% from this time last year. But what you said before is really interesting. We've seen 11 consecutive months of foreclosure increases. So this is clearly not a blip. This is clearly an entrenched trend that we can expect to continue. And in part, it's due to the fact that those foreclosures in the states where judges have to decide, mm -hmm. we know were delayed by all of those lawsuits and investigations and the new rules and reforms. So we're now just seeing those foreclosures sort of go through our system. Here in Palm Beach County also, even though foreclosures were down for the month of September, for example, mm -hmm. overall they're up from last year. And most of the foreclosures we're seeing in Palm Beach County are clustered along that I-95 corridor from mm -hmm. uh, Boca Raton all the way up to West Palm Beach. We're seeing pockets too where there was a lot of activity during the bubble. So in Wellington, in West sure. Boca, and those areas. Sure, and, and the judicial system can weigh it down. There's a lot of red tape you have to go through. Sometimes, uh, you know, I know the clerk's office of Palm Beach County said they were kind of short staffed for right. a bit. So there's many factors when they have the judicial side of things. Right, but you know, the good news is we're not going to see, the last time this happened, the last time we led the nation, we've mm -hmm. got in Florida, we've got two times the national average of foreclosures right. now. The last time we were in this situation was in April of 2005. Mm -hmm. But the difference is that the prices have corrected. In fact, some people will say they've overcorrected. And the other big difference is because so many people want rentals now and mm -hmm. rental prices are going up, we've got huge demand from investors. In fact, if you're in real estate looking to buy a home or a realtor, you mm -hmm. know that we actually have a shortage of homes. So we will be seeing more REOs. Those are the sure. homes owned by lenders and for sale. But what we're not going to see is those price reductions. So for all of the rest of us, we don't need to worry that our own homes will be going down in value because the homes will continue to sell now to investors. The prices will remain soft. It'll take another two or three years for these to get through the system. So it will take that long for our own homes to go up significantly in value, but we're not going to take the loss as we did before. Uh, and boy, what a loss it was. I mean, so many people saw their home values decrease. Huge, huge. But, uh, yeah. Sherry, we like you so much. Uh, can you come back next week? Oh, that's a deal. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, thank you come, uh, for stopping by this Wednesday. John, we're going to throw it back over to you now.